Have you ever gone prospecting? How about prospecting for diamonds? I used to live near a place when I was a kid called Herkimer Diamonds. People would go there and they would look for diamonds. Now, I don't think very many diamonds were found there, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they found thousands of diamonds. But I remember people coming and showing us little crystals and stuff like that that they would find at the diamond mine. It's kind of a cool thing to go mining and to look for diamonds. It's also interesting to find out that sometimes in gold mines, there are diamonds, which is kind of cool. There are also lots of things and other gemstones, too, that are out there, too. There's um, some people like cubic zirconian. They're nice and shiny and look really pretty. They don't always hold their luster, and sometimes they have to be replaced, but a lot of people like them. Some people like the diamondique. Some people are sold on diamonds. And some people like mosinite, which is basically comes from a meteorite, but it's made in a lab, but it's like almost as hard as a diamond. If you've never heard of mosinite, that's what that is. And then there are things like um, rubies and colored diamonds brown diamonds, which they call champagne diamonds. So, you know, if you are into mining and looking for jewelry and looking for stones and looking underground for things, that might be something you might want to look into is checking out some of these mining and gold mine things. Now, you never know what you might find. I know years ago, I lost my diamond ring and I never found it. And what's really weird about that story is during that time, I was I went to a cake class, and there were like five girls, and four out of the five girls there said they had lost their diamond before, which is so weird, because I, I wouldn't have believed it unless I went to the class myself, so that was kind of devastating. Luckily for me, um, I was able to replace my ring and all that, but that was uh, in my other marriage, so... It was kind of a heartbreaking time. I think I lost it, I think, at a party for my 50th. My parents had like a little picnic thing for their 50th anniversary before their regular party to meet up with some of the family or something. So it was really kind of a strange thing anyway, how that happened. But yeah, so um, anyway, diamonds, gems, emeralds. I would love to go get one of those um, metal detectors and look for a diamond. I know years ago, um, one of my sisters lost her diamond in our front yard, and I think her boyfriend bought a metal detector to find it. They must have found it. That was, I was little. I've got brothers and sisters that um, are 10 and 14 years, I mean, a lot older than me. You know, old enough that, like, when they got engaged, I was probably about eight or something. But anyway, in the comments below, let me know if you ever lost a piece of valuable jewelry or something that you loved. Uh, tell me if you've ever gone mining. <laughs> um, love to hear about the mining, especially. And, it, well, the jewelry stories, too, because they're always fun. Anyway, like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. God bless.